Yo, what is going on everyone? I hope you're doing well. My name is Dylan and welcome back to another video. So since we're sort of nearing the tail end of summer here, I figured I would make another video to sort of showcase the garments that I have been putting in rotation in my wardrobe for the season and also to go over a little bit of styling decisions that I've been making this summer as opposed to summers in the past. So in past summers, I have mostly worn, at least for my top layer, uh, t-shirts and short sleeve button downs of various fabrics, various sort of lightweight fabrics, kind of like silks, uh, linens, or rayons. But this summer, I've mostly gravitated towards wearing muscle tees and tank tops, uh, and you'll see a lot of that in what I'm about to go over and show you guys as far as my uniform for the season is concerned. It's mostly because I find like a muscle tee to add a little bit more of an interesting silhouette to summer wear and for hot weather in general, as opposed to just a standard t-shirt. Through pretty much only wearing this type of top for the whole summer, uh, it makes it super cohesive and super easy to change other aspects of my outfits like in and out. And as far as what I'm wearing on bottom for most of the summer, uh, typically in the past I would wear mostly shorts, but for bottoms this summer, for some reason I've mostly been wearing pants uh, with a couple exceptions here and there. In summers past, I would pretty much always wear shorts all summer and then kind of style my outfits around the silhouette of the shorts that I was wearing. But this year, for some reason, I've been wearing super light tops uh, paired with generally some type of work wear pants. So yeah, let's just get right into it. So first off, we have this pretty standard 100% cotton Dickies t-shirt uh, that's a pocket tee that I actually cut the sleeves and the hem off myself. So there's nothing like super special about this at all, but I figured this would be good to throw into the video to kind of show you the silhouette that I am initially going for whenever I put together one of my summer outfits that includes a muscle tee as basically a base layer. And also the reason that I'm lumping this into the video uh, is because this is actually cut to where it is cropped on my body as opposed to a lot of the other uh, tees that I'm going to be going over that are longer that I usually have to tuck in to achieve sort of my desired proportions for my outfits. But yeah, this is a super nice staple uh, basic piece. And if you don't just have like a normal cotton shirt like this, highly recommend just getting getting one of these like standard either dicky shirts or something really comparable. All right, so next up we have this Caterpillar construction and workwear branded tank. So this is super interesting. I found this on Grailed after searching through some of the workwear products that Caterpillar offers and found this for a pretty decent price. I think I paid maybe like 15 to $20 for it. Uh, it has this really interesting distressed sort of almost raglan sleeve like detail that comes across the chest as well as the top of the back and then the armholes actually have the super distressed binding that you can tell used to actually finish this really clean but this is a vintage piece so over time this has sort of come undone and unraveled but uh, i think it just adds a lot to the overall visual appearance and the texture of this tank and yeah, I'm super stoked to have found this. Uh, it works out really well as an addition to my ever-growing sort of workwear style wardrobe. And so next up, what we have is this linen and rayon blend vest from Olive Clothing. So this is uh, labeled as a vest on the website, but it is definitely a silhouette that is more akin to a muscle tee and what I've been going for all summer. And although it's a little bit warm, I think it works out pretty well, especially if I'm wearing like a lighter weight pair of pants or something to pair this with. But yeah, I've wanted some pieces from Olive Clothing for a while because they have really nice basics, a really nice elevated style basics. And I saw this on the site and I just had to pick it up and incorporate it. Uh, it feels super soft to the touch and also is a knit. So it has like a nice amount of stretch to it as well. But yeah, I normally wear this and style it by just tucking it into my jeans or whatever pants that I'm wearing. And yeah, I love this fabric blend and I don't know how well this is going to show up uh, on camera, but it has this really nice sort of piled texture to it. Yeah, very luxurious looking, but also very casual looking at the same time. So super glad that I picked this up. Okay, and lastly for the tops, we have sort of this cheap novelty piece that is this Cheryl Crow 
tee that uh, it's a tour shirt from 2017. Uh, not a tour that I actually attended. I found this online for about 10 bucks and I really wanted to pick it up because I just love the novelty of tour shirts in general. And I thought that this design looked like it would go great for a muscle tee to fit into my uniform. So I bought this initially as a t-shirt, but then I just lopped the sleeves right off and I style it like I style most of my other tanks or tees if they're a little bit too long by just tucking them into my pants. But yeah, as you can see, it's got just this normal shell crow print on the front, turn it around, and tour dates from the 2017 tour on the back. I've gotten quite a few different reactions out of wearing this, and I think it's just because of my general style uh, wearing a Cheryl Crow shirt. People either find it kind of funny or just kind of weird, but either way, uh, I love this piece as a novelty piece, and I think it fits in really well with my wardrobe, especially the neutral color. Uh, this is printed onto a 100% cotton Comfort Colors t-shirt, which is pretty standard for band merch or just printed t-shirts in general. But yeah, I mean, I love the feel, love the look, and I think it goes great with everything else that I have to pair it with. All right, and so that does it for the tops. So now I'm gonna go through a few of the pairs of pants and bottoms that I have been wearing this summer and switching out with those tops that I just showed you. So first up, what we have is this really nice and beautifully like distressed vintage pair of Caterpillar carpentry pants. So these have a double knee detailing that makes them super sturdy. Uh, I wear these to work all the time. Um, it's got sort of contrast stitching for the waistband as well as for the flat felled out seams right here for extra durability. Uh, if we flip it around to the back, we can see nice Caterpillar branded logo. Yeah, I found these uh, on Grailed whenever I was initially searching for Caterpillar workwear pieces. So I bought this along with the tank that I just showed earlier in the video. And these have been a super great addition to my wardrobe. They're like super true to size on me. They're 29 in the waist, which is exactly uh, my waist size, as well as they're pretty high rise too, which is normally how I like to wear my pants just for general proportions. Someone actually cut the hem off of these uh, originally. So I haven't touched these or altered these at all, but someone else did before me. And the funny thing is this actually falls right where I want it to. So no alterations are really necessary when it comes to these pants. But yeah, these are made out of a cotton canvas that's pretty sturdy. Uh, you can tell these have been through a lot and been around for quite a while. So this is a great vintage piece that I feel like I have added into rotation in my summer uniform. I feel like Caterpillar is a little bit slept on as a nice, nicer workwear brand. So uh, if you come across a pair of these or a pair of like carpenter pants from Caterpillar, especially the vintage ones, I would definitely recommend trying them out and seeing how they work for you because these fit me like a dream and I'm super glad to have found them. All right, so next up, what we have is another item that I picked up from Olive Clothing. So this is the black pair of wide leg denim pants from Olive that I bought alongside of the vest that I just showed you. So I actually bought these in a size small, which are a 30 in the waist, uh, which I think they might actually come out to be a little bit bigger than that. So these are freaking huge, uh, especially on me, but I really kind of wanted to go for uh, this silhouette in general because I'm sure that you've seen this picture of these diesel pants that's been floating around on Instagram or social media for like quite a while now. Uh, and I've been super intrigued by this silhouette of just wearing a super long, super wide cut pair of jeans. So these were definitely on my radar whenever I first saw them. Uh, and I decided to go ahead and pick them up. So I've been wearing them for a few weeks now and I think they're a really great addition to my uniform for the season. I mean, they feel super soft, super nice. I mean, it's a good quality denim. It's basically like a super high rise, which works out well for me if I'm gonna tuck my shirts or if I'm just going to let them drape over the waist of my pants. This is a really comfortable and really great pair of jeans that I've incorporated into my wardrobe. So next up, what I have 
is this pair of shorts that I actually have kind of cut and altered myself from the brand Gorilla Group. And so if you followed me at all uh, in the past or seen a lot of my really old social media posts from a few years ago, which is actually when I picked these up, um, I used to be a pretty big fan of this brand, and I guess I still am to some extent, but I don't really wear their stuff as often as I used to. Uh, but I bought this pair of shorts that has this long, whatever, na I'll, pro I'll put the name on the screen. Um, I bought these for maybe like 149, 150, if I recall correctly. But if you'll notice, uh, and I'll throw some pictures up of what these used to look like, uh, they were like somewhat pleated near the hem and also had a built in lining that has a sort of um, checkered print or pattern that would come down below the hem of the shorts and kind of like over the knee area. Um, which initially, a few years ago, whenever I bought these, I thought was super interesting, super cool, and I wanted to try it out. But I ended up not really wearing them all too often. So a little while ago, I picked these back up out of my closet, and I ended up cutting out the lining and also just cutting off the hem so that these flow a little bit bigger instead of sort of tapering like they were designed to do. Uh, and, I, and I actually like them a lot more this way. I left the hem raw so it just sort of frays a little bit, but I think the silhouette looks way better on me this way. And also this is just a nice sort of like medium weight nylon pair of shorts uh, that are great for the summertime. Yeah, so these are like a nylon uh, ripstop and I can probably show you guys the texture a little bit. So we got some pleats up here in the waistbands, uh, really large front pockets as well as two rear pockets. So it's like a pretty standard pair of shorts other than the fact that there's this asymmetrical fly in the front right here. So, so the whole front fly of the pant folds over and it's sort of buttoned closer to the right hand side which makes them a little bit more unique and interesting. Okay, so onto the very last piece that I have incorporated into my summer wardrobe. And of course, it's gotta be the Entrum Infantry overall in black. If you've seen my previous videos, then you'll know that I had created this in the Talus colorway, which is the textured gray, but also I recently released these in the black colorway, and I've been wearing these a ton. So this is a mid-weight canvas material. Honestly, it's pretty roomy and pretty flowy, so it kind of works out better for summer than you would think, just from kind of taking a first look at these things. But yeah, I'm not gonna go over this too much in detail because I already went over them in explicit detail in the last video. So I'm gonna link that video down in the description for you guys so you can check out more details on this pair of overalls if you want, as well as to the website where they are available to purchase. And yeah, that about does it for my summer uniform wardrobe. So pretty much everything that I've shown in this video, mine is probably a couple of other like simple staple pieces or what I have been uh, rotating in and out and sort of mixing and matching uh, all summer long. So thank you guys so much for watching the video. Please comment, like, and subscribe. It would mean a ton to me if you did. So. I'm really working hard on trying to stay consistent and putting out these videos about once a month or so. Thank you so much. I super appreciate your time and you watching this and I hope to catch you in the next one. Peace.